These used to be living quarters. This is where the troops would sleep, at least one of the areas. There is almost nothing left, nothing that was salvageable, we were told. The crater itself impacted uh, over here, and it was one of 10 impacts that happened. Being here, it's truly extraordinary how anyone managed to survive, that there were no casualties. When you look at the destruction and then hearing all of the stories of the close calls of the heroics, what we are now learning is that there was advance warning to a certain degree. They knew something was going to happen. They just didn't know what. And about 11 p.m. at night, those that were able to go to the bunkers, went to the bunkers. But there were still troops that were out manning posts that because of the security situation, they had to stay at. So people were beginning to take shelter at around 11 p.m. And then at 1.34, that's when the first impact happened. A lot of those who we are talking to are saying that it was unlike anything they had ever imagined. Of course, on the one hand, the training does kick in, but at the end of the day, this is a terrifying experience, a terrifying